Six new cranes arrived at the Port of Virginia this morning. It's all part of an effort to stay competitive with other ports and to draw more business to the Commonwealth. 13 News Now reporter Jacqueline Lee was there for the big arrival. These large blue beams of steel are new additions to the Norfolk skyline, symbolizing a much longer term plan. We're thinking 30 and 40 years out how to make sure that the cargo is flowing into and out of Virginia. Joe Harris with the Port of Virginia told me the six cranes that arrived this morning, along with the 54 more that will soon come to Norfolk International Terminals, will ultimately entice more companies to Virginia. We're telling our customers, you can come to Virginia for decades to come. Don't worry about reaching any limits here, any limits as far as depth and any limits as far as um, how much cargo we can handle. The Port of Virginia stands as the fifth largest port in the nation. The $695 million expansion project will bring a total of 86 new cranes to Virginia International Gateway in Portsmouth and Norfolk International Terminals ultimately allowing the port to handle an additional 1 million containers a year. What we're doing is we're actually squeezing our cargo stacks. We're making them narrow and taller so we can put in, we can create density. But that's not the only change coming. The port is getting deeper as part of the Army Corps of Engineers dredging project. By deepening the Norfolk Harbor to 55 feet, it'll make the Port of Virginia the deepest port on the East Coast, which ultimately means more jobs and more money for the Commonwealth. A total of 60 of these cranes will be delivered here to Norfolk International Terminals. Expansion is expected to be completed in 2020. In Norfolk, Jacqueline Lake, 13 News Now.